you're never going out of style. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a really easy DIY video and I'm really excited about this because it's not very often that I get creative ideas for DIYs that haven't been done before. So yay, I'm excited for that. You guys probably saw what they are from the intro, but basically they're just DIY sunglasses, cases, pouches type thing. And I figured this would be kind of fun for the summer because everyone, you know, wears sunglasses. And I always end up putting mine in my purse and then sometimes I end up getting scratched from keys and stuff like that. And I buy cheap sunglasses so they don't come with a case. So. That's why I thought I would make some and I know you guys can maybe relate. So yeah, I basically got all my stuff from either Michaels or Walmart and this DIY in total to make one case is probably under $5, like it's super, super cheap and you can be really creative with it. So it's super fun and yeah, I think, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and also shout out to Zoe for letting me use her tripod. So. Thank you for that. And let's get started. So the things you're gonna need are fabric, Velcro, decorations for your case, ribbon if you so wish to do so, scissors, and hot glue. And you're also gonna need a pencil. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is unfold your fabric, and that's what I'm doing. And then you're gonna wanna find the natural fold in the fabric. This worked out really well for me. I don't know if your fabric will have this, but hopefully it does. And then basically just fold it over so you have the natural fold I guess and then you can see that I have left um, there's a little bit like a half an inch of fabric left and so I'm basically just following the lines of the fabric and you're gonna want to place your sunglasses down to see how big you want to make your case and I marked off an inch past my sunglasses so they have room to like close the case has room to close basically with the velcro so then you just want to go ahead and follow the lines and cut off where you had marked off and Basically, this I just did by eye. I didn't really use a ruler, probably should have, but I didn't, so that's okay. And then you're going to be left with your natural folded piece of fabric, basically. And you're going to want to start um, creating the folds, basically, that we need to, sec to secure the thing together. So basically, I left half an inch over the top, so it's like a little bit of an overlay when you fold it down. So I don't know really how to explain this, but you guys can see. And then taking my hot glue, I just glued that down. So that is our first fold. And just be careful with the hot glue. It's hot for a reason. Don't burn yourself like I did. So basically, you want to make sure that is completely cool before you move on to the next fold, which is at either the top or the bottom. You just need to make sure that you leave one side open to put your sunglasses in, and then you're going to want to close the other side. So go ahead and fold that over just like you did the first line and now you should have two folds secure with hot glue. You're going to go back to the first fold and fold that over one more time with hot glue because I think it looks a little bit nicer and a little bit cleaner I guess. You totally don't need to do this again but I thought it looked nice. So then you're going to fold that over and basically just take your hot glue and secure any edges that you think need a little bit more reinforcement and then you're going to want to wait until that dries. And that is basically how you make the case. Pretty easy. So I actually made a case a couple nights ago and so I wanted to just show you how I'm going to decorate it. And I recommend if you're doing some decorations that require like size I guess, I don't, I don't really know. But I suggest putting your sunglasses in so you can kind of get a feel of how they're going to be when they're in there. So I basically just threaded the ribbon through there to see how big or I guess how long I needed my ribbon to be to fit around the entire case and I basically just eyeballed the measurement you don't really need it to be perfect if you want it to be perfect then I highly suggest like actually measuring it out but I didn't really want to do that so this is basically what I did to put the ribbon through the pendant it had two little circles on the side which made it really really easy I just made sure that the ribbon was flat and going in so it would lay nicer on the fabric basically so that is what it looks like once it's all laced and done and then I just hot glued both ends of the ribbon secure down to the fabric in the back so you don't have to see it because it's kind of like not the cutest so make sure that part goes in the back and then I just took the hot glue again and I basically glued the two circles down to the fabric so I just lifted it up a little and put a little bit of glue underneath and then for the second case I wanted to use ribbon again and there was a natural fold in the or I guess crease I guess in the fabric so I just that as a guideline and hot glued the ribbon down 
to the fabric. And I found that using a pencil to press it down worked a lot better than my fingers, just so my fingers don't get all hot gluey and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, use a pencil to push that down if you want to. And then once that is done and secure, I moved on to my iron-on daisy, basically. And I didn't actually iron it on because you can't fold the fabric inside out, so I just hot glued it and it worked perfectly fine. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and do the final step, which is the Velcro. So I bought this also at Michael's and it's basically little circles of Velcro. So you're gonna wanna stick one side on the bottom and one side on the top. And it's pretty easy to find the like alignment and everything. So just make sure that they're really secure and just press them down. Super, super easy. So those are what my final sunglasses cases look like. I hope you guys can draw a little bit of inspiration from them and I don't know, try out this DIY for yourself. It's super easy and it's a fun little craft to do on a summer afternoon if you're bored. <laughs> Let's be real. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made my DIY sunglasses cases. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great day.